I think it's due time for an album review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Gorillaz The Fall. Now this album came out on Christmas Day with their website, or by their website I should say, and if you were a member of their fan club you got to download it for free. And um, <clears throat> if you didn't all you got was just a stream of it on their website. Uh, it's finally getting a physical release here in the States on April 19th. So if you're interested in picking it up, that's when it comes out. It is a great album. It was made on Damon Albarn's iPad while he was on the road on his North American tour over about a course of 30 days. And um, it is incredible. The type of work that he put into this thing and only making it in 30 days is just phenomenal to me. That is the album cover. But um, I'm just going to go through it track by track and... You guys uh, let me know what your favorite tracks are and uh, what maybe your least favorite tracks are, whether you hate the album or whether you like the album. Um, just give me a good discussion about it. Gorillas are my favorite band, so automatically I'm inclined to tell you to go get it because I think it's incredible. Okay, uh, first one. Fauner to Arizona. Now, when this first came out, everybody thought it sounded like a bunch of robot farts. That's how it was described on the Gorillaz unofficial forums. So yeah, listen to that. I think it's kind of cool. It's very experimental. You pretty much about heard the whole thing. It's, it makes a good intro to me. Next we have Revolving Doors. This is the first single that's going to be on the album along with another track called Amarillo, which is about a town in Texas. But um, Revolving Doors here is probably the best song on the album, most mainstream. You can tell it's pretty catchy with the ukulele and stuff. Revolving doors, what have I done? Really, really good lyrics by 2D, which is on the album cover. Voice played by Damon Albarn. Next we have Hillbilly Man. This song is really cool and chill at the very beginning. Like a really, really awesome, like nice, smooth acoustic song. That puts you to sleep, but it's really pretty. But later on in the song, it turns into this big hip-hop type thing. Hip-hop-ish. Next on the album, we have a little two-minute ditty called Detroit. If you're a Gorillaz fan, I believe that you would call this... Um... The album's White Light, or Glitter Freeze, or Punk. This is probably that type of song, Detroit, because it's only two minutes long with only one vocal in it, which it just says Detroit at the beginning, and then it has a little bit of vocals at the very end. Um, it's really cool. As you can tell, it's kind of dancey almost. Really enjoy this. I really enjoy this track a lot. Leading into that, we have a song called Shy Town, which is about Chicago. It's kind of a, it's kind of got some funk roots to it. The bass in it is just funky. The electronic uh, keyboard parts in it are just smooth too. And yes, there are lyrics in this song, but the most pretty part about this one is the music. Leading into that, we have a little song called Little Pink Plastic Bags. This one is really, really um, ambient. There's a whole bunch of ambient music influences in this song, and uh, it's very... Uh, the landscape of it is very big. 
and the lyrics are very uh, simple. Once again, trying to kind of keeping up with that little like funky beat to it that Shy Town had leading into it. This is actually one of my favorite songs on the album because I enjoy the uh, lightness of it. Leading into that, we have a song called The Joplin Spider, which I know a whole lot of you are going to absolutely hate, but since I am a fan of experimental music, I gotta tell you I like it. Now, I don't know what American city he's talking about in this song. I don't know that much about the uh, continent I live in, but it makes a damn good song, whatever it is. I try to skip it to the part that most people would hate. That's electronic. Changing up genres now. I know some of you are like, my ears are bleeding. And that leads into a song called The Parish of Space Dust, which once again is kind of about Texas. Because the next song after this is called The Snake in Dallas, which is about Dallas, Texas. There's like three Texas songs on this album, and I don't know why. This is pretty much an intro to The Snake in Dallas. Damn good song, though. Now this track... The Snake in Dallas, one of the best instrumentals I've ever heard. That is catchy electronica right there. Yeah, it's nice. Next we have... Amarillo, which is the B-side to Revolving Doors, one of the, the very first single, or double-sided single, I guess I should say. This is my second favorite song. Listen to that. That's beautiful. That is a gorgeous track. Anybody who doesn't like that is just retarded. Now we have the Speak It Mountains. I have no idea what this song is about, and it's probably my least favorite song on the album. Because once again, it's kind of a lead-in into the next song on the album called The Aspen Forest. Yeah, I gotta skip it. Now the next song here, Aspen Forest, leading in from the Speak It Mountains, is once again a really, really great instrumental. It's very, very catchy, and the piano parts in it are really neat. I really enjoy this one. Now, leading out of that, we have a really awesome acoustic jam called Bobby in Phoenix. This has Bobby Womack on vocals, which was from Stylo and Cloud of Unknowing on Plastic Beach, and he takes the vocal reins on this one, which is why it's called Bobby in Phoenix. I'm guessing they recorded this in Arizona. That's awesome acoustic guitar in this one. His vocals are really sick. Here it comes. That's a smooth jam. Leading out of that, we have California and the Slipping of the Sun. 
this is the final track on the album, I guess you could say. It's a really good song. It kind of sounds like uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Queen, if you kept up with other things Damon Albarn has done. Um, beautiful song. I think it's a good closer. Now the very, very last song, which is more of an outro than a closer, is called Seattle Yodel, which is this for about 40 seconds. It's supposed to be the yodel yodeling pickle, some novelty toy in Seattle. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's, I wouldn't really count it as like a song song, but it's funny. I mean, it's still music. You can't deny that. And as that fades out, I conclude to you The Fall. So if you like the majority of what you hear, I highly suggest you go out and buy it. It comes out April 19th, or if you're a fan club member, maybe you can still be able to download it. I don't know. Obviously, I was one, so I got it the first moment it freaking hit the website. So... I'm still going to be buying a physical copy just because I'm such a big Gorillaz fan. Um, I like to have physical releases of everything they do if I can get my hands on it. Most of it is over in the UK, and unlucky me is stuck here in North Carolina. But anyway, like I said, if you enjoyed that, please go out and buy it and uh, talk to me about it. What are your, some of your favorite songs? Why do you hate it? Why do you love it? Um, let's have a big discussion. See you guys later. Mooney1235, out.